Well, it's a very special occasion for us here on Lucky Love TV, standing backstage at the Cream Party at Amnesia with none other than John O'Callaghan. How are you, mate? Very good, man. How are you? Yeah, good, good, thanks. So you've just flown in straight from Dublin? Yeah, I just got here about two hours ago, a uh, quick couple of drinks, uh, change of clothes and straight to the club. Yeah. Good stuff. Are you looking forward to your set tonight? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I mean, everybody knows how special Amnesia is and uh, every time you come here, you're reminded of it. It's still packed out there and uh, every single tune goes off and it's a, it's a privilege to be here. It's a special place to play, isn't it? It is. You know, there's, uh, I, I travel all over the world and, and Amnesia for me is two hours from home, uh, Ibiza, so... You know, it's it's like the clubbing mecca of the world. I know it's a cliche term, but <laughs> it really is. You know, everybody, people come from America, Australia, Brazil, Argentina. They all come to Ibiza and come together, and uh, that's that's what we're seeing out in the dance floor. And are you loving it? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's uh, it's only my second week so far this year. Um, I've got uh, six or seven more to go, but. Uh, if it's anything to go like uh, in the first opening, it's going to be a special summer. It's going to be huge, that's for sure, mate. So you rocked it at the opening anyway. So, so The opening is one of the busiest I've ever seen. Um, uh, I've done uh, three or four openings now and uh, I was blown away. It was like, uh, you know, you couldn't see. It was just a sea of people and people yeah. people stayed right up until 7 a.m., which is, which is good for me because I usually play last. Yeah. <laughs> and do you, how, where, where do you prefer playing? Like if you could have any set on the night, where would it be? Well, I mean, the prime crowd time is obviously the middle set. You know, you yeah, have yeah. the opening, the middle, and the end. But yeah. I am probably more suited to the end because uh, I do play the bang and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's nice to come on and, and give people the last memories of the night, if, 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 if that's what way you want to put it. And uh, to, to play the tracks I want to play, and the people who are dancing hardest will be there until the last. So that suits me. There's the dedicated clubbers, dedicated music lovers, aren't they? That's it. You know, you've got a lot of workers as well. And yeah, people who are here all summer, and uh, a lot of workers don't come in until about 4 a.m. Yeah. So you are uh, providing valuable service to the workers yeah, of the yeah, island. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and John, you've been coming out to Ibiza for quite a while now. Obviously, five years professionally, a couple of years before that, just having a party. Uh, yeah. What's got to be your favorite thing about the island? I think for me, it's coming out and seeing friends, really, and seeing yeah. familiar faces. It's not like coming to a foreign country and like. Yeah. Oh, um, you feel a little bit out of your skin, you know, it's like everywhere you turn in the restaurants, you know, the guys have been working there for years, you go to the bars, your friends are there. Whenever you come backstage or out on the floor, you see the same faces and it is like coming to a second home, really, yeah. you know, it's like a clubbing home. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a great and happy place to be. Definitely is, man. I just saw you like come walking in backstage. You're like Sander van Dorn. Hey, man, how are you? Good to see you. Long time. And I guess that's what it is for you, right? Yeah, I mean, um, me and Sander have been doing it for a few years. Uh, Ferry, uh, Paul van Dijk, Armin, uh, you know, it's uh, it's part of our working schedule, but it's also a, a great social occasion as well because we get yeah. to actually chat and uh, catch up on things because in other gigs worldwide, you, you sometimes you can just show up and you get taken away into a car and you have to go to the hotel yeah. and catch a flight. But in Ibiza, there's also a, a great social element to yeah. it as well. Cool. Awesome. And John, tell us about the remixes and productions that you're busy with at the moment. You've got some big things on the go. Well, uh, I just had an album released in April, uh, which is two months ago. It's called Unfold. And uh, that's doing its thing now. Um, I think 12 or 14 tracks. Uh, some chill out stuff, bang and trance, tech trance, progressive. So. That was my, uh, you know, my whole studio life for the last couple of years put into that. <laughs> it's doing really good and I, I'm just letting those tunes kind of uh, do their thing at the moment. And after the summer, I'll, uh, when, the, when the good weather is over, I'll, I'll maybe get back in the studio and do some more stuff. But at the moment, just working the tour and uh, enjoying playing the tracks. Cool. So you're pretty much on the road at the moment, are you? Yeah, pretty much every, not every weekend, almost all the time. I just got back from Las Vegas yesterday. Had one night at home with family and yeah. uh, back on a plane today, so it's uh, it's constant, but it's uh, it's part of the job, and I love it. Were you in Vegas with Above and Beyond? Uh, yeah, Above and Beyond yeah. were there. I think yeah, Sandra yeah. was there. Tiesto, yeah. Cosmic Aid. It was uh, the Electric Huge, Daisy uh, Carnival. Oh. I think there was 150,000 people, something crazy like right. that. I think yeah. Ibiza actually took a knock from that. Uh, but it was a completely different. I beat this a lot cooler, you know. It was yeah, a, yeah. it was 100 degrees in Las Vegas, you know, in the desert at night, so. At least there's a bit of uh, fresh air. Yeah, here. <laughs> definitely, man. Cool, guys. Well, listen, I don't want to keep John too long because I know he's got to go and prepare one massive set that he's going to smash the dance floor with. So, lastly, John, you're on Lucky Live TV. What's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you, mate? Uh, meeting uh, my girlfriend and having my son. 
<laughs> awesome. Well, listen, thanks very much, John, for catching up with us. See you later, Look forward man. to rocking it on the dance floor. And uh, yeah, good luck with the travels. All right, man. Thanks, Take care, mate. Bye.